Hi guys, welcome back to my World of the Vision video. Now I'm gonna talk about the new things which happened on this week. So like I have predicted on last week, we don't get any new characters. Yes, I know it's kind of annoying, but at least we get a new things, okay? The first one I want to talk is this one, Diablos UR Vision card. And like usual, if you get this Vision card for the first time, you're gonna get the Asper. And again, I think the reason you want to get this is probably for the Asper because Diablos as an Asper it is one of the best Asper for Mitch. Why? Because Diablos has 20% magic stats boost. Okay, so yeah, we have Sifa, right? Sifa is quite good for magical attacker but her magic stats boost only 7%. So yes, Diablos is kind of insane in terms of magic stats and other than that he also has 15 magic attack boost so yes this is super as per for a uh, mage okay so you must have this if you want to optimize your mage and not only that his evo ability this one dark messenger gonna imperil your enemies dark assist and like you know that we have lots of powerful dark attackers on this game so let's say the name Stern, Venera, Shadow Links, Rayu, so yes lots of powerful dark characters okay so after you use this as per on the battle those characters gonna deal more damage okay really decent and yeah other than magic and magic attack boost Diablos also gives you slash attack resist, which is one of the best attack type on this game at this point of the game. Okay, because lots of strong slasher attackers on the game. So yes, I must say this is really good as per if you really want to get best as per for your character, then I think you should summon on this banner, especially because there is this, okay, five steps, five step, ten times summon. So yes, you need to spend 10,000 fish yours, but at least this time they guarantee you Dreamfin or Diablos. Not sure whether you're gonna get both the cards or only one cards, okay, between these two. Okay, but yes, I'm really glad, okay, with this set system because sure, every time we get chapter release, we usually get, get 10 times free pool but this time they don't give us free pool yes i'm i'm kind of annoyed by that but also at the same time i'm kind of happy because they make this kind of step up okay so this kind of make you guarantee if you spend your fees here so yeah i must say it's better like this like this okay and other reason is the vision card okay i forgot to talk about the vision card so the vision card, let me tell you that the vision card is also quite nice. Sorry, sorry guys. Uh, yes, the vision card, like you can see that the vision card gives the character who equip it 10 dark attack. So this 10 dark attack is really good because like I just mentioned, there are lots of strong attackers. So because this is dark attack up, you are free to equip it on any type okay you can equip it on pierce maybe on the future there will be dark mage this card also gonna be useful and the party ability also grants you additional dark attack if you max it 35 so if you max this card you're gonna get 45 for the character who equip the card which is insane guys 45 dark attack up and yes, I, I know that to get the most from this vision card, you need to build mono dark element party. But I think that's how the game supposed to be played against PV, PVE, okay, to chain the elemental and attack type. So I must say, yes, pretty decent as per and vision card. On the past, there is uh two-headed dragon okay two-headed dragon i can say that the asper is really good but the vision card maybe not good for 
most players, but this time both Vision and Esper are good. That's why I totally recommend you to do the step up or yeah, get the Diablos. What about the next card? This one, Fleeting Blossom Banquet. So this one is also nice. Nice because of the party ability. Like you can see that you are gonna get 50% AP up. So everyone needs AP, especially for non mage character because non mage characters start with low AP stats. Okay, so this one is definitely really good. Usable by anyone on this game. Okay, even mage need this when they deplete their AP. But for the bestowed effects or direct effects, I must say it is not bad, but it's kind of niche, like attack resist up plus 10. Yes, there are many good like attackers, like, like characters on this game, but most of them, I must say that like Warrior of Light, Angel Bird, they are tankers, so they won't deal that much damage. Yes, I also know that there is like Ramza and yes, Holy Caster. But yeah, the point here is niche. Okay, so I think the reason you get this card is if you like the party ability of this card, which is pretty decent. Okay, so yes, there is this is really good fishing card banner if you really want to optimize your character both for PvP or PvP PvE then this is the banner for you okay really nice and yes that's all the new on the banner okay and what about the new content yes there is a new shop and again i think they kind of changed it a little bit correct me if i'm wrong okay and yes chapter 8 really shop usually if i'm not mistaken they give they allow us to buy Rainbow Vision Spear and Rainbow Fragment of Thought, okay? But this time, mm, no, okay? So it's a little bit disappointing for me, but at this point, I don't need uh, Rainbow Vision Spear and Rainbow Fragment of Thought, okay? Because I kind of like, right now I'm still gathering for the character shot, so I'm, I'm in no need for them in hurry. But yes, this is kind of disappointing. And yes, if you missed Lucia before, there is a featured banner for her. So you, you probably can pull. And make sure you, if you raise Lucia, buy these shards, okay? 2,000 fish yards for 40 Lucia unit shards. So make sure you buy this. Really nice to make you max your Lucia faster. Okay, so I think that's all you need to know about this War of the Vision on this week. Okay, and yes, basically there is only one new event, the challenge quest. I will talk about this later on other video, but this is not a farming event. So you don't need to farm this every day. You simply need to clear this one time if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, since we probably don't didn't farm this on last week because we focus on warrior of like event then this is the time for you to farm on this the far east event okay you can buy lots of nice things on the mock shop so make sure you farm on this stage and yes there is also a new feature okay so now they separate separate the yellow and the red training chamber okay so it increase your chance to get something that you really need but i think you shouldn't farm this at this point because if i'm not mistaken on sunday or monday we have two times drop rate i think that's the time when you should farm on this uh, on this stage okay for now i think you should focus on this the far is event Okay, so I think that's all you need to know about this week event. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more War of the Vision video. Bye bye guys.